Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to go over Polygon Runway's Spring Blender tutorial. Now, if you don't know who Polygon Runway is, they do these amazing low poly blender tutorials. The reason I chose the Spring Blender tutorial is because of the commentary it comes with. Overall, the tutorial was very straightforward and very easy to follow along, but I did run into some issues and we'll talk about that in a bit. As you can see here, we first start off with the rock formation. This part was fairly easy to follow along. One advice I would give to people that wants to follow this tutorial is to look at the bottom left corner, which would often show the button that is being clicked. This came in very handy whenever I didn't know a command or a shortcut. Now skipping forward, the next thing we did was add the two bodies of water. During this part, I also added a small waterfall. I was trying to step outside of my comfort zone and try to create something using the lessons I learned. Overall, I think it turned out great. Next, we added the ground and some other small rocks. And this is fairly easy and you can make the rocks as complex or as simple as possible. Next, we modeled the tree. Now this is where I ran into my first problem. Since Polygon Runway's tutorial is 5 years old, it is done in an older version of Blender. When he was creating the tree, he did something with single vertex. The way he was doing it, I couldn't do it in 4.0 Blender. I watched this video by iCreateEvo which solved this problem. I'll put a link to the video down below. Other than that, it was pretty straightforward to create the tree. One thing I would note is to not do what I did and create every single branch, just create the main branches. This will make everything a lot more easier down the line. The next part was creating the grass. Now I'm not going to show it here but I did try to create 2D grass. That was an awful idea and I would not suggest anybody to try that. I couldn't get the grass to stand up straight and it just was a big hassle. It's better to just follow along and just do exactly what they are doing. Even with the regular 3D grass, I was still having some issues but eventually it got fixed. You just have to click things around until the issue gets fixed. Since we're new to Blender, we can mess around and learn from our mistake. One thing I forgot to mention is that I created this box around the ground because I was seeing some of the grasses go outside of the original plane. Now this didn't help that much but I kept it anyway. Next we created the branches and the leaves. Now this is the part I was talking about. Because I made my tree branches too big, I'm having to cover them up with the branch with the leaves on it. One thing I saw on the internet is to use Alt D instead of Shift D. This apparently makes it lighter when rendering this out. This is exactly what I did with all of the branches that you see me placing right now. One thing to note is that with this you can rotate and scale however you like but you cannot change it in edit mode because that will change every single branch you place. After a tedious amount of work of aligning each branch into the tree branches, we finally created the flowers. Now Polygon Runway does this snapping thing but I couldn't figure out how to do it so I had to individually place each flower. Finally everything was looking great, now it was time for lighting and coloring. And here is the final result, enjoy. Yeah, I don't know where I went wrong, but this is the actual size and the color. I don't know why it came out very dull, but I wasn't liking it at all. I think by the end of it, I was trying to rush through the process and finally end up with this result. About a week later, I tried to fix this project again. The first thing I did was change the aspect ratio. Then I added this HDRI from Polyhaven. Once I had the lighting correct, then I went ahead and changed the color of the rocks, the ground, the tree. By no means it's perfect, but I think this is a lot better than what I had previously. And here is the result of the changes. Overall, the tutorial by Polygon Runway is very excellent and I would recommend to any beginners. Despite my hiccups here and there, I think it was very enjoyable to follow along. Lastly, I will link every single thing that I talked about in this video in the description down below. Thank you for watching and I will see you next week.